welcome back friends to my channel again in my previous video I have shown you how you can log data into an excel sheet if you have not seen this please go through my previous video the link is given in the description below today I am going to show you how you can extract the data from the excel sheet that means to read the excel file before that we have to know why we need to read the excel sheet first sometimes we need to transmit the log data to somewhere else like a displaying object wirelessly or severely to where in that case we need to read the logged excel sheet, extract every data element and transmit them with some identifier. The identifier generally represents the column or parameter the data belongs to, which helps the distant object to segregate the one parameter data element from other. It may be a pre-identifier or a post identifier. In case of pre identifier, the identifier is attached before the data element, and in case of post identifier, the identifier is attached after the data element. For an example, we are transmitting one of the parameters temperature. Let the identifier be T and the actual temperature is 35.57 degrees Celsius. Then, in case of pre-identifier, the full data element would be T35.57 and that for post-identifier, it would be 35.57 T which will be transmitted. Now, come to lab view code and see how we can practically do it. I have done this code previously and will explain how it is working. This code can extract data from a save file and live log file as well. In case of save file, data has been logged before into an Excel sheet and no more data is being correctly logged in. But in case of live log file, the data is being logged by some other program into the same file and the correct data will be extracted simultaneously. Let's extract data from a save file first. Give the file path first where the data has already been logged and hit the run button. The whole file is accessed first and then each individual element is being extracted, appended by an identifier and then displayed over here. Let's understand the code. The read from spreadsheet file DI reads the file and gives the whole table as a two-dimensional array along with the column headings. But we don't want the headings and only interested on data elements. So we need to delete the headings from the array. For that, we have to use delete from array function. It takes the whole array as input along with an index number and the length of array that we want to delete. Since the headings is placed in the 0th index of array and it has length of 1, the index value will be always 0 and the length will be 1 if we are extracting data from a save file. But for live file, it will be different. Now, at the output of delete from array function, we will get only the data matrix. 
To extract individual data from the array, we have to use two nested for loops, one for loop inside other. The data array enters into the for loops with enabled indexing. Hence, we need hence we need not to provide any loop count at A. Iteration is controlled by the file of array. Iteration of the first or outer for loop depends on the number of rows present in the input data array. And in each iteration, it gives one row as a single dimensional array. The single dimensional array of three elements enters into the second for loop. Since this array has the three elements, the second for loop will iterate three times and in each iteration it will give one data element starting from index 0. I have used a guest structure inside the second for loop to append the identifier with the data. For first iteration, the identifier T will be attached with the data element that represents the data is of temperature type. Subsequently, for next iteration, the identifier H will be attached and then T will be attached with the data representing the data of humidity and pressure respectively. Here, we can use DATCAD or Arduino to transmit individual data to a distance object, serially or wirelessly. Once the three data elements are extracted, the outer loop will be implemented by one iteration and since second row data elements for extraction. In this fashion, all data are extracted from the set Excel sheet. Now let's see how to extract data from a live file where the data are being written and read simultaneously. To understand this, let's see the diagram first. Suppose the first three rows have been written into the file by our previous program or write to spreadsheet file when we start the reading or extracting the data. Here we don't want the first row as usual, so we have to delete it from the array by using delete from array function. The index is 0 as always and I have given the length 1 as initialization to the seat register because for the first time when the code is run we have to delete only one row that is the headings. Now the rest two rows will be passed through the for loop for the data extraction that I have explained earlier. At the same time we are measuring the array size of the first data. Since the data are of two dimensional, the array size gives us a single dimensional array of two elements representing the number of rows in index 0 and number of columns which is 3 here in index 1. By using index array function we can extract the number of rows read in the first block from the matrix which is 3 in this case. And this value is set in the seed register and we know that the seed register stores the data 
our previous iteration. So this value will be used by the delete from array function in the next iteration. Now in the next point of iteration, the read from specific file will again load the full data which is the previous data plus the new data. <coughs> Suppose these four new data rows have been added in the file and we need to extract these four rows data only, not the previous data. For that, we need to delete the previous data from index 0 to index 3. So we have to give the length 3 from index 0 to the delete from our function. This 3 we can take from the previous iteration which was the number of rows we had previously and store in the separate register. Hence at the output of delete from array we will have these four rows. In this way all the data elements are extracted from a live file. Here we have used the previous to previous value of the seat register to auto stop the file loop. When all the rows have been read, the difference will be zero and the file loop will be stopped. That's all for today, you will learn how to read from Excel sheet whether it is preset or in live. If you want to see more videos in my channel, please do subscribe, like and share my channel. Thank you.